What's up guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at TraderView and how to use it effectively. Especially for you new traders, it's a great tool in order for you guys to maximize profits. So let's jump right in. Welcome back guys, this is Cruz for New Age Wall Street. If you're a newer trader, kind of confused as to where to get started in the market and what to trade, what setup to take, things like that, how to be the most profitable, this video is for you. This is going to go ahead and take out a lot of guesswork uh, as a beginner trader to help you out. This is one of the best tricks I have up my sleeve to help new traders. But before we get started, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and also hit the bell notification button so you can be notified whenever we put out new videos like this. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and we also go live on Fridays. I, I trade live on Fridays so you guys can see my thought process, my pre-market plan, and my executions live while the market is open. And we also do a Sunday stock talk, Sunday stock study uh, every Sunday as well, where we go, we do some type of psych psychology things, risk management. We also go over the tickers that uh, we're looking at for the week as well. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. And uh, this is something I call your trader identity. This is something that is gonna help you tremendously to know who you are as a trader and how you trade and how you're most profitable as a trader. So this is your trader view, right? So this is what you're gonna get when you're uh, when you first log into your Trader View and you're looking at it. And um, this is uh, really old. I don't use Trader View anymore. I have an Excel sheet that keeps track of all my trades since I started trading options. Uh, Trader View makes you pay when you uh, in order for you to keep track of your options trade. So uh, I don't use this anymore. This, these are old stats, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna use them today for our Trader identity. So. What you're going to do to start off with is you're going to make, uh, you could grab a sheet of paper or you could grab, you know, anything that, uh, you know, just to, just to draw this out. Right. So we're going to make a person, right? Oh, that was horrible. So let's try that again. So here's our person and, uh, we'll make him have like a little shirt here and, uh, he'll wear some shorts. And uh, this is our person, right? So this is our, our trader. So we're gonna name him, uh, we're gonna name him Dave, the day trader. <laughs> so the, this is Dave, our day trader here. So, um, and, uh, the, and this is obviously, you're not gonna name your person Dave the day trader, this is gonna be your own person, right? And so basically what you're looking for is you're going through it uh, on your trader view and you're looking at all the attributes on where you perform well in the market. And so the, and then you want to be able to gear your trading towards that in order for you to go ahead and be profitable. So you're not going to take setups that aren't going to be um, where you're not going to be profitable, right? That, that would be stupid. So you want to take the you want to take the, the setups that you have that have the highest probability of you being profitable. So here's what we're gonna do. So here on your your trader view, this is gonna. Um, so what you want to do is actually go into uh, reports. And so the, this is my uh, reports that I had from last year into I think beginning of January or so when I started trading, trading more options. And um, and there's a lot of information in here, guys. There's a lot of uh, stuff going on in here. And so. Um, what you want to do, so you want to go into your detail tab. So in the detail tab right here, right? So in the detail tab, you're going to have these, these graphs here. So these graphs here uh, show you, so this is uh, performance by price. So these are all the tickers that are, um, that, you know, in between the, these different price ranges. So like uh, something that is a small cap, right? So when I was trading, and again, this is more when I was trading small caps. So uh, anything that was higher than say $20, I didn't perform that well. In. But what I really performed well in was the stocks between $2 and uh, $4 and 99 cents. So what you wanna, what you wanna do is then is you grab your marker, right? And so you wanna take that stat right there where uh, you perform well, where it's um, $2 to $4, right? Then uh, what you want to do here, so this is vol um, performance by volume traded. So 
this is uh this tells you like if you took a small position, if you took a big position, on and how you actually did with it. So this is five thousand through uh five thousand through nine hundred ninety nine thousand. Um, so these are, you know, uh, smaller, uh, smaller trades that you go ahead and do. And I believe this, uh, this actually takes, um, takes into account, like if you're scaling in and then you don't actually fully close out the trades so you're adding, getting out a little bit, adding things like that. So on this one, it would be, uh, 5,000, uh, so 5,000, uh, 5,000 uh to uh 10k let's say right then what you want to come and do is uh select days and times so you see these delight de uh, days and times so this is performance by the day of the week so this is this is huge right here guys so uh if you take a look at this um and it could be different factors that that affect you right so it could be different factors during the day of the week so you have school one day you don't have school one day, you don't, you know, babysitters or, you know, whatever, um, this could affect you. So you don't, you know, you work nights one night or, you know, whatever it is. Right. So based on this here, Tuesday is actually my best trading day. Right. So Tuesday is my best trading day. Uh, Friday is my, as a close second, but my worst trading day is actually Thursday. Right. So we're going to put, um, Tuesday and, um, Friday. And then um, we're going to avoid Thursday. So that's no, no Thursday. Right. And then you're going to see that uh, if you go down, this is actually your performance by the hour of the day. So the obviously the market opens at 9 a.m., right? So right at the open is usually when I'm most profitable. So uh, right at the open, from uh, 9 to 10, uh, 9 to 10 a.m., it looks like I'm the most profitable. So from 9, uh, 9 a.m., right? And then it looks like I start um, giving some money back um, towards the, you know, after the market opens. And then I, uh, I eventually, you know, maybe make some make some money back here, you know, towards the middle of the day. And then uh, at the end of the day, I don't do too well either, right? So I want to avoid the 10 o'clock hour and then avoid the, the end of the day. All right. So this is uh, from the month of the year. I didn't get, you know, quite to be able to put all this in here. And then um, this is performance by duration. So this is entry day. And um, this is really, really, really um, good information right here, guys. So this is something that you want to keep track of. So this is performance by intraday duration. So like in the trades that you hold, uh, say like under a minute, I was always red. So I was always trades that hold that hold under their minute. So like if, and these trades here, so I'm uh, I'm more profitable if I held them from five to five to ten minutes. So five to ten minutes. So I'll put. Right, so from five to 10 minutes, and we'll make this a little bit smaller. Five to 10 minutes, I was the most profitable. So then uh, obviously if I stayed a little in the trade a little bit longer than that, if I stayed in the trade a little bit longer than that, then these are, um, then I would start to go red. So I would start to go red on the trades and you can see that I did pretty bad. Then you see these longer ones, right? So these are probably like um, short, short positions where they're like all day holds. Um, and you can see that I was really profitable around, you know, in this, in this area. So, so five to 10 minutes or all, uh, day holds. Right. So then, uh, so that's that for this page, right here, if you go into instrument, it's going to give you where, uh, this is performance by instrument volume. So instrument volume means, uh, meaning how much it actually, uh, how much it traded. So. I'm the most profitable in between five and nine, uh, 9.9 million. So five, five, um, through nine, we'll say 10, we'll make it 10 uh, million. Right. So this is, uh, so that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much, uh, that's a pretty good, um, 
analysis of what you of uh, what you know the the stats that you have as a trader right so what you want to do is then once you take all the stats is you want to take a good look at it right so what you want to focus on on a trader is these stats so these stats which you have right here so you as a uh, you as a trader right so a us day the day trader you want to focus on stocks that are between two dollars and four dollars you want to keep your positioning between five thousand and ten thousand and then you want to you want to trade on Tuesdays and Fridays. So on Tuesdays and Fridays is when you you want to you know focus on your best trades and your best setups. And then on Thursdays, I'm not telling you not to trade on Thursdays. That's that's kind of crazy. So I mean, if you can, that would be optimal uh, optimal if you cannot trade on Thursdays, right? So that would be that would be optimal. But if you do trade and you do decide to work, uh, trade on a Thursday, then that's probably a good day that where you want to size down. And you want to probably take it a little bit more easy, maybe not take as many trades on Thursday because you know that there's something going on where uh, you just don't perform as well on on um, on Thursdays. Then when you're taking these trades, right, you also want to make sure that you're taking these trades around in the 9 a.m. around the opening of the market hour and then and then make sure that you're getting out of them within about five to ten minutes or if it's going to be an all day hold. So. After five to 10 minutes, if it isn't doing exactly what you want it to, go ahead and get out because you know you're gonna start losing money. Unless it's looking good for an all day hold, then you could go ahead and uh, do it. Then um, you also wanna avoid trading around the 10 o'clock hour. So right around the 10 o'clock hour and the end of the day. And these are all stats that you wanna put into your uh, trader view that you wanna take from your trader view. So when you're, a, when you're a new trader, you don't have any of these stats. You don't have any of these stats to go off of because you haven't traded before, right? So your your goal as a new trader is to go out with very small size and to take the, these risks on the on these trades. So then you can build, start building your, your trader identity. So then you can know what the best probability of you trading successfully is and for you to be the most profitable as a day trader. So you don't want to, so if this is your trader identity, right? So this is your uh, trader identity. You don't want to ignore all this and then you go trade stocks that are $20 and then you trade exclusively only on Thursdays and then you're trading uh, the end of the day or you say you wake up late. Say like you wake up late and you can't trade that nine o'clock hour and then you start trading around 10 a.m. But this this keeps you safe and then you already have your you have your persona that's made up as a as a trader that you know that the, this is the this is what you need to focus on during this time and all these marks come into to conjunction all in one then you will be the most profitable trader that you can. So if instead of you being all willy nilly and you trying to hit every single trade all throughout the day, different price points and things like that, you wanna wait till you get all these, these matched up and that heightens your probability of being the most profitable as a day trader. Oh, and so the other thing is, is that I'm not telling you that you can't focus on anything else other than this, right? So your trader identity will always it, it, it'll always mature. So as you're growing as a trader, as you're going on your trading journey, your trader, uh, you will always mature as a trader and these will change. So say you start you know, trading a different instrument like I do, like I trade options. Uh, so say you start trading uh, futures. Say you start, you know, something changes in your life. Say you have a, you know, you break up with your boyfriend, girlfriend, or, you know, just something different changes in your life. This is, this is always going to change. So this is something that you want to come back to and always reference to Whenever you feel confused in the market and feel like you're not being as profitable as you can be, you want to come back, look at what your trader identity is for that moment and hammer in on the, these stats that you have so that you can be the most profitable. So six months from now, you may you may be more profitable in something that's $10, right? So I'm not saying not to take a trade that's outside of these criteria, but if you do take a trade and you want to work at being and adding to your playbook as a trader, then I would say to size down and use less size and use a lot more risk management because you know you're not uh, you're not as proficient as a trader trading those types of instruments, those different price points and things like that as a trader. So yes, hammer down and use these stats to be most profitable, right? So this is what you want to focus on, but also on the weak points you could also focus on as well. Use proper risk management as long as you size down as well. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's our video here today. I think it's very, very important for you to develop this trader identity, this trader persona, trader DNA, if you will, 
um, it will help you tremendously to know yourself and be self-aware as a trader on uh, what to look for when you're actually trading so that you're not just going into trades blindly. You're actually looking for the, the right type of trades to actually um, to, to actually execute on. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, guys. Also hit the bell button for notifications, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you stay money bites. Oh. Cool.